bless you. And still, good morning for the next 60 seconds. As often as we attempt to dot every I and cross every T, things and travel schedules don't work out as we would like them to. As a result, Mr. Sharpton is probably five minutes away. And so that's a very good thing. Had some flight delays and things of that nature. As you can see, we are capacity today. However, if there is a vacant seat next to you, we don't want anyone to have to stand for the service today. So could you just raise your hand if there's a vacant seat? Ushers, if you could stand no, and look no, to... Hey, I didn't know what was going on there. <laughs> I've gotten happy in this pulpit many times before, but uh, <laughs> I've never spoken in tongues without knowing it, you know? <laughs> hey, come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. <laughs> so the ushers will assist you. Could you again raise your hands? What are you, what are you doing Sunday? Can you come by Sunday too? <laughs> <laughs> if you have a vacant seat on this side, could you, could you stand real quick? Because we don't want anyone to sit. Uh, have to sit. If you have a coat or a hat in a chair next to you, could you fold that and put it under your chair? chair. Ushers, if you can see, those of you that Shamazi, are standing, protocol, if you like to sit, the ushers will assist you. Can you all do me a favor for just one quick moment? Can you help me appreciate our sanctuary attendants and our ushers and our nurses? As we're preparing to Again, our service of reflection and remembrance. I would be remiss if I did not introduce you to my wife. Dr. E. Jean McMurray, would you all meet my wife? First lady. And if we can, the clapping of hands expresses your love for someone. Can we give our mother and our father today love and let them know we appreciate you. We love you. Can you all shout with me, Mom? We love you. We love you. We love We love you. 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 We you. Are the best that Greater Grand Rapids has to offer. I wish I could tell you they were all members of Renaissance. But they are friends of Renaissance. And so we've put this collection of psalmists and musicians together to encourage you from the word and song. Thank you. 
It is in times like these when we must remember that we serve an almighty God. Whatever your expression is, whatever may be happening, you must know and understand that we serve an almighty God. The God who can heal, the God who can save, the God who can deliver, the God who can bring peace in the time of trouble. We serve a mighty God. invokes the presence of God. God and for those of you that know this song, won't you worship Lord, with our praise singers because it is our assignment this morning to invoke the presence of God into this atmosphere so that we might bless this family and bless our friends today that are hurting Kirkland, Pastor Anthony Kirkland. country to support this family and to share a message of love. Let us first receive the president and founder of the National Action Network, the Reverend Al Sharpton. Thank you, Reverend Sharpton for coming to help us make it through such a difficult assignment. Attorney Ben Crump. Other dignitaries and officials from the United States Congress from the city of Grand Rapids, local pastors. We have all 
gathered this day to express our sympathy and give strength to this family. Pastor Kirkland, Pastor Field, Protocol, protocol. Those who can pray, let us pray for this family. Tunaomba simu zote. Tunaomba simu zote zifungwe. Wana zikwe kusilansie. Simu zote. Tunaomba telefono zote. Nous demandons que tous les téléphones soient éteints ou bien soient silenciés. At this time, Masaidi, we shall prepare to invoke God's presence into this place in a, in a very significant manner. I'm Bishop Dennis McMurray, senior pastor here at the Renaissance Church of God in Christ. 
And for those of you viewing around the world, and those here in person, let us pray for this family. At this time, we shall have our Old Testament scripture reading by Reverend Howard C. Hurl. Our New Testament by the Apostle Jathan K. Austin, the Bethel Empowerment Church. And our prayer of comfort by Pastor Daniel Smith of Messiah Missionary Baptist Church. And after the prayer of comfort, Renaissance Choir and Friends will give us a selection. There's never a good time for a time as this. But how many know that God is a very present help when we face troubled times. Let's be strength for this family and let's give God praise once again for blessing mom and dad everybody where we need him the most. Need a microphone. The Old Testament scripture. Even youths grow tired and weary. And young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 30 and 31. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. John chapter 14 verses 1 through 3 don't let your hearts be troubled trust in God and trust also in me there is more than enough room in my father's house if this were not so would I have not told you that I am going to prepare a place for you when everything is ready I will come again and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. My thoughts and prayers to the family in this community. Won't you find your prayer posture with me? Kind Father, God of all, we first come asking that you would saturate this room with your presence. We come with our backs against the wall, but yet with our heads and our hearts toward the hill, from which cometh our help. 
Our help comes from you. Who made heaven and earth. So make your presence known in this room. We ask strength for this family. We ask justice for this community. We ask righteousness to pour down like a mighty river. Fill our hearts and our heads with your word. Your word says trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lead not to your own understanding. Your word says that you are exceedingly able to, to subdue all things. So right now the comfort that we need is righteousness. Is justice. Fill us right now with those things necessary for your way to be made strong in this place. Keep this family. Bless the preach word that's going to go forth. In all things, let your name be glorified. It's in the name of Jesus that I do pray. Let every heart say amen. Amen. In the book of Psalms, the word of the Lord declares that I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. I know where my help comes from. My help comes from the Lord because he is my strength. And because of that, we must give God total praise.
give God praise this morning if he has been the source of your strength. Anybody know him as a way maker? As a burden bearer? My, 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 my. At this time, people have traveled from far and near to pay their respects. We can't do everything we'd like. But I would be remiss if we did not recognize Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence from the 14th District of Michigan. Congresswoman, please stand. She did family bring a proclamation that I would ask be read at a later time. Namaste. We're trying to save time. And so we just thank God for the Congresswoman. The obituary is printed in both English and Swahili. Let us take a moment of silence and reflect and remember just a small snapshot of our dear brother Patrick. Patrick. Our tradition teaches us that nothing heals like the word of God. And to introduce our eulogist for today is the Reverend Charles Williams III. Midwest Regional Director Midwest Regional Direct, uh, Director of the National Action Network. National Action Net, uh, Network. Let us receive him at Achata this time. Okay. Thank you. Aksanti. Thank you, Bishop McMurray. Aksanti Bishop. Chungaji McMurray. Your Graciousness in this hour. I want to let all of you know that this is one of those moments where we have seen the world change. And there has been one who has helped usher that moment in. I've seen my brother Stevante Clark here from Sacramento. I see my sister Gwen Carr here from New York, the mother of Eric Garner. And they can tell you that in this time, there is no better voice that expresses the pain. There is no better voice that exudes justice. There is no better voice that becomes the griot of the mainstream. There is no better voice than the keeper of the dream. There is no better voice that shows us what the front line of a warrior looks like than the national president of the National Action Network in the person of the Reverend Al Sharpton.
to Kai. First giving honor to God. Ya kwanza natafuta kusema sifa kwa Bwana. To Bishop McMurray, give him who has hosted us today, give him a big hand. And to all of the ministers of the gospel, but to mostly to Peter and Dorcas Loyola. Ilioya. On April 4th, le 4 avril, I had the rose that morning. Nililamuka hiyo asubuhi commemorating that on that day in 1968. Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. was killed in Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. I was the youth director. Na nilikuwa pale nilikuwa kijana director kijana at 13 years old. Na nilikuwa na miaka 13. For his organization in New York. Juu ya organization yake New York. Under Reverend Jesse Jackson. Na nilikuwa chini ya mchungaji Reverend Jesse Jackson. As I went through the day. Na wakati nilikuwa naenda mchana. I on my radio show and other places. Na kwa radio yangu ya nilikuwa natangaza talked about how Dr. King had given his life to fight for justice and freedom for people like me at 13. Later that day, Reverend Charles Williams Mchungaji Charles William who just introduced me who is one of the greatest young activists in this country called to tell me Akaniita. that on that day na yu yu siku, 2022 demil, that a young black man wa mausi, from the Congo Congo, was shot and killed here in Grand Rapids. I said, are you serious? He said, yes, I'm hearing reports that it was by a policeman. He said, and Reverend, it is not all in yet. But we're getting varied reports. Hours later, the Attorney General of Black America, the incomparable Attorney Ben Crump, called and told me that same story. And said, and Reverend is bad and worse than you think. Nakasema kama mchungaji iko mubaya kwa gisu kwa nafikiria. They shot him according to preliminary reports. Na wali mupiga masasi kutokana na rapore nye tulipata. In the back of his head. Kupita nyuma ya kichwa yake. Two weekends later. Kisha semene mbili ya pre. I had Ben Crump and the Father Peter. Nilikuwa na nilikuwa na Ben Crump na na Papa Peter and my brother here who's interpreting. Na Israeli mwenye kwa na interprete to tell the story on my television. Kusema adisi gisi lipitika na kutelevision. I in the course of our conversation. Na wakati tu kwa tu na zungumuza. Peter asks, would I come and give the eulogy today? Na Peter kanilomba kama ndena kuja kuzungumza leo kumazishi ya Patrick. I come to be with him and the mother. Na mina kuja kukua nae na mama. And Patrick's two children. Na Patrick e, toto ake. To tell you that this can not end today. Na kuambia kama hii haita malizika pa leo. To add insult to the injury. Na kusema tena kuongeza matukano kukidonda. They're telling this family. Walikuwa naambia ijamaa. 
that they will not release the name of the one responsible for this death. Talking about we won't release the name until he is charged. Every time a young black man or woman is arrested in this town, you put their name all over the news. Every time we are suspected of something, you put our name out there. How dare you hold the name of a man that killed this man? We want his name. Let, let me tell you the danger of this. Are you saying, Reverend Williams, that if he's never charged, we will never know his name? Are you setting a legal precedent now that if a policeman kills somebody on videotape that he's holding down and shoots in the back of the head that if the grand jury don't charge him that we will never know his name I come from New York to tell you that we are not going to let that precedent stand These our young folks, our vijana when you black and white, Muzungu wala mwusi, that have been marching in the Grand Rapid every day. Kila siku. They're not the troublemakers. They're the troublebreakers. It's trouble when you can shoot people in the head and remain anonymous. Don't ask them, are they going to be violent? Give us the name of the one that was violent. It is Iko. confusing to me. We are in Ben Crump, Michigan. To Michigan. Yes, Williams, this Michigan. To Michigan. Is this the Michigan where just not long ago you would not convict men that threatened to kidnap the governor? Michigan, now you're going to protect the name of a policeman that shot somebody in the back of the head? Is this Michigan 2022 or Mississippi 1952? imagine how they must be discussing Patrick, Patrick in the Congo Mukongo. Patrick, Patrick in Africa, Africa. Patrick, Patrick all over this world Dunia Muzima. while we stand with President Biden, na sisi na President Biden for those victims in Ukraine, bale ba be miuko Ukraine how they're saying but they shot a young boy na piga mutu masasi. in the United States Mwapa we got to fight for him from Ukraine the Grand Rapids Toka Ukraine, we must stand up for victims. And 
Let me say this. Acha niseme hii. This is an election year. Hii niko nawaambia, niko nawafundisha. This is a midterm election year. Hii kuna kuya election kuna kuya. We stood and fought with the family of George Floyd. Tulishimama na tukapigana na familia ya George Floyd and other families and came with the George Floyd Justice in policing act. Na If that act had passed the Senate, akama ile act ilipita kusena, qualified immunity would have been gone. Ukalifia immunity ingienda. And that unnamed anonymous policeman would have had to think. Na hii jina ya upolisi ingifika before he shot Patrick. Mela mupike Patrick mukichwa. I don't want anybody in this nation. Sitaki kila ata mtu moja mwa inch to ask for our vote unless they are pledging they will go to the Congress and pass the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act. We in the name of Patrick are going to have a litmus test in these elections about our right to vote and our right to deal with our policemen. We will, we will stand with good cops. We will stand with those police that uphold the law. But if a policeman kills when his life is not under threat and you can't be under threat when you're on top of somebody with their head down and their face in the ground if you're right we stand with you but if a policeman is wrong we're going to call it wrong and we gonna call your name. Na tutaita jina lako, tutataya jina lako. Let me say this. Acha ni seme hii. To respect Bishop, one of the most respected ministers, I come out of Koji. Na kwa ishimia Bishop hapa. In the book of Genesis. Mukitabu ya muanzo, ya Genesis. First chapter, Sura ya kwanza, 27th verse. It reads, Bishop, and Asema. God blessed them. Na mungu wakawabariki. And God created man na kamungu wakaumba mwana in his own image. Kwa image yake. In the image of God, na kwa image ya mungu, he created him. Na kamu, aka, aka, male, aka fanya male and female, mwana ume na mwana muke. he created them. Alwa, Mungu aliwaumba. Now that's a strange text to use. Hiyo ni kusema au tutaitumikisha hapa. But what I think is confusing. Kitu yenyewe kwa kuchanganyikiwa kidogo is that because of the legacy of this nation. Kwa sababu ya historia ya hii nchi, Attorney Johnson where they took us from the shores of Africa. Procureur General uh, General Johnson wana tutosha bali tutosha Afrika and brought us across the Atlantic and made us slaves to justify slavery. They had to try and act like we were less than human. And they devalued the human worth by teaching their children that we were less than they were. You couldn't take equal human beings and make them work from sun up to sundown and never paid them wages. You couldn't take equal human beings and take their names and 
name them after their owners. You couldn't take equal human beings and break up their families and take their women at your will. You couldn't take equal human beings and, and make them eat the worst food. But I come almost 403 years later to tell you we were not created to be your boys and girls. We were created in the image of God. When you see us, you're seeing what God put together. And what God put together, you don't have the right to violate. Are you telling me that you have decided that a man's life is not worth than some tags on his car? Not in the middle of an interaction that was saving someone's life. No, about car tags. Not about even property. About car tags. Not somebody's house got broken. About car tags. Not that somebody stole something from somebody. About car tags. You're going to run and chase somebody down. About some car tags. You're going to take a gun out your house and take his life his children's father about some car tag and you thought we wouldn't come from all over the world and let you know that enough is enough I flew out of New York a few hours New York, ago. New York. Well, Gwen Carter, the mother of Eric Garner. I brought my daughter with me. My youngest daughter, Ashley. Because I cannot have this legal precedent in this country. That the equivalence of the value of our life is some car tags. I come to support those that's marched every day. Because they refuse to let you devalue our life. We are worth more than some car tag. We are the salt of the earth. When God made man, he made it for all of us. You pull your gun about some car tags. I want this family to know. Patrick came here looking for a better life. Patrick and ran into an America that we know too well. And we won't stop till we change this country. We won't stop till we turn this country around. We built this country. We made this country. We made it the richest country in the world. And we never got but you going to give justice. You going to give fairness. You going to turn this country around. You going to give justice for Patrick. Patrick. So I beg of all of you to make today be a day of mourning. 
But keep going into days of movement. Don't you ever stop. And don't you ever turn around. And don't you ever give in. And don't you ever give out. And whatever you do, make them call his name. Make them reveal why they hide his name. Let me say this. They say, well, Reverend Al, we give suspects names out because we want to check their background. Maybe you don't want to give the policeman's name out. Because maybe the policeman has a record of other complaints. I mean, why are you hiding his name? Is there some things about him you don't want us to know? We are not going to stop. Atuta we stop are it. going to back these young folks up. They got their fist up for us. They have their fist up for Patrick. We are going to stand with this mother and father. We can't bring Patrick back. But we can bring justice in Patrick's name. Bible says, Whoa, unto them that are at ease in Zion. Too many people today that are at ease while this kind of thing is going on. But thank God for Bishop McMur who had the nerve to open up his church. Some of you preachers didn't want this in your church. You want the sheep to feed you rather than you feed the sheep. You scared of what downtown will say. You scared of what the police union going to say. You got too many punks in the pulpit. But I thank this bishop for giving this family a dignified place that we're going to make the world know that we are all with him. And that's why I'm here. I'm here because I was asked to be here. But I came here whether you like it or not. Because when you shot him, you shot my son. You shot my brother. You shot my kind. And I'm going to stand up for my brother and my man. As I end my eulogy, let us remain committed to the family. One of the reasons that Gwen is here is we stay with families from now on. We family now. You are always here for me, whatever you need. Stephon Clark's brothers here. We family now. We're going to stand for the whole. And I want... I'm not going to desecrate the local authorities. But I want to call on the federal justice department. We need the justice department to investigate this death. We have reason to not just want to wait on the local prosecutor. We don't want local politics to compromise justice. We're calling on the U.S. Department of Justice of justice to intervene and to stand up for the civil rights of Patrick Leoya.
Patrick had the right Patrick alikuwa na droit to answer whatever question if he walked away kama angitembea angikimbia you didn't have to chase him down haongi mkimbiza there was another passenger in the car kulikuwa passenger mwingine mumtugari you could ask them ungimuuliza who he was and where he was going nani na alikuwa anaenda wapi you had plenty of things you could have done kulikuwa na vitu vingi ukifanya then to chase him down kumkimbiza na naye and then you say some about hand on a a stun gun na unasema na tena unasema mikono ilikuwa kuteza a hand on a taser mikono ilikuwa kuteza well, if you say he had the hand on the taser kama unasema mikono ilikuwa kuteza you knew when you grabbed your gun na ulijua kama ulikamata kutoka you were grabbing your taser hauko na kamata taser yako which showed intent to use a deadly weapon na ulikuwa unasema unaonesha kisa za kumikisha federal investigation unataka justice investigation federal juu ya huyu kijana Well Reverend maybe the gun went off it couldn't have went off Oh for some of bunduki it just pick up in his hand Aingi aingi pick up yake aingi kwa mkono wake It couldn't have went off Aingi aingi just pick up yake It wasn't against his head Aingi kuwa kama when off what justice is what went off Na tuki tu tunachua ni sisi sio nyenye nyenye We are determined Na tunaamua This is as bad as it gets Kisi itakuwa mbaya kisiko You turned a traffic stop. Unakamata kitu yenye ilikuwa traffic stop. And what appears by tape to be an execution. Unakamata unakamata na mwekse kitu mtoto. And we are not going to live at a time. Na tutaiacha hivi. That that gun's unanswered. Hatutasema sasa itakuwa na matibabu. So it's time for you to stand up. Na ni wakati wa nashimama. Stand up in Michigan. Shimama mu Michigan. Stand up in the US. Shimama ni mu US. Stand up all over the world. Shimama dunia mzima. It's time to fight again. Tunatetema kupigana tena. Ni wakati wa kumarcha tena. It's time to all He's all right. He's all right. It, we okay. talked in the back. Y'all can just bring him to the side. I'm going to bring our attorneys on. Before I do, I want us to hear from an outstanding servant of the people who has labored, and I know this down through the years. Let us hear from the only member of Congress of African descent in this state to see a congressman who has always been there to stand up for what was right congresswoman Brenda Long congresswoman Brenda Long parlementaire Mimi natafuta kusema kwa jamaa yote. I want to say to all the family. Natafuta kusema kwa jamaa yote. Today is a day of grieving. Leo ni siku ya kulia. But today the community has come to put their arms around you. Na leo community yetu inakia kutia mikono juu nyuma. I am here. Niko hapa. As a member of the United States House of Representatives. Niko mambo wa parliament hapa. And I come here. Na mimi nakuja hapa. As the only black representative. Ule mwanamke mmoja tu ambao usi. Congress in Michigan. This is personal to me. This is my family. You are my family. This is my community. And if I don't stand up, who will? I was sent to Congress to stand and fight for my people. And today, I want you to know that I'm here also representing the Black Caucus. I'm the vice chair of the Black Caucus of the United States of America. 
Today we lay to rest. Leo tunakuja kumkumbusha a man, one, a father, baba, a son, mtoto, and a victim. Na victim. We know Tunajua. that we as we have just gotten our call to action. We have Tuko, work to do. Tufanye kitu. Tuko na kazi ya kufanye. Patrick. Patrick is a man. He's a human being. And most of all, he is a man of African descent. And we must stand up in America and not be silent to stand up and fight for three things. For justice, transparency, accountability. Someone is accountable for what happened. We may not know their name, but the accountability is still resting with that person. And I just want to honor the family. So somebody took the life of a man that was just driving a car. But I, as a member of Congress, Coming from the African descent, stand here today and say, I, Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence, do hereby proclaim that Patrick is an American of great distinction. Patrick and I are not American with distinction. Whose mkubwa. life and Maisha legacy will legacy. not be forgotten. Maisha yake na and on behalf yake of the United States of America, I salute his memory na and his offers na to manifest yake. real social justice na and a benefit for generations to come. I generation. love you all. Let's na get to work. As I bring the lawyers to give us our legal strategy, let me also publicly thank our national field director who's on the ground and will be working diligently with those local actors. The best field director since Hosea Williams, Reverend DeVest Toom. And Reverend Steffi Bartley organizes the Northeast. Our Northeast coordinator is with me. He flew in with me and Reverend Stephen Marshall. Pastor Stephen Gopali. Many years ago in the 90s, when we had a fight, we would call attorney Johnny Cochran. When Johnny Cochran died, we did not know where to turn. But a young man came emerging from Florida that could not be intimidated, enticed, or distracted. And he fought the case of Martin Lee Anderson all the way to Trayvon Martin Michael Brown. Michael Brown you call the name he was there we could call him when the DA wouldn't call us back we could call him when the Attorney General wouldn't call us back and when he calls we answer because he knows what he's calling about I bring you the Attorney Attorney General of Black America, Attorney Benjamin J. Trocrump. Benjamin Crump. Thank you, Reverend Al Sharpton, for making the case for justice, for Patrick Leola. Thank you, Reverend Al Sharpton, for not only being our spiritual leader, but our civil rights leader. Can I give him another round of applause for coming from New York to say what others are afraid to say, to do what others are afraid to do, because we know who he is and who he's standing for. My leader, Reverend Al, I would be remiss as I make this plea for justice if I did not invite with me 
the legal team that will be justice justice Patrick. I like to call a great lawyer who hails here from the state of Michigan. My brother from another mother. <laughs> Attorney Ben Johnson. Avocado Ben Johnson. A sister. Nadada. Reverend Al, who is a proud, bright spot, a light. Muchungaji ni mutu mwenye tunatia kama iko muangaza, dada. For not just black lawyers, but lawyers all over America. She is the president of the Michigan Black Women Attorneys. Attorney Robin McCoy. And a young woman whose father was a civil rights stalwart here in, De here in Detroit, Michigan, Brenda Lawrence. Detroit, Michigan, Brenda Lawrence. She is, her father is down, is looking down from heaven. Very, very proud of his daughter. Attorney Ayana Hatchett. Where, Come on up, Ayana. The people need to see the best we got to offer the world. And then, a, a Commissioner Womack, I don't know if he's here, but uh, Attorney Steve Grimm. Attorney Grimm, if you're here, come on up. Okay. Okay, he's not here. And that reminds me, before I make a brief plea for justice, we have to acknowledge one of the most courageous leaders I have seen in these fights, Reverend Al. This young man from here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, the first one who stood up when others refused to stand up. Commissioner Robert Womack. Womack won't step back. Womack stepped up when others stepped back. Womack said Patrick life matter. Womack said our children life matter. So we say Womack won't step back. Womack atarudia nyuma. Thank you very much. So briefly, to Peter and Dorcas, Peter and Dorcas, the brothers and sisters of Patrick, for Patrick, for Patrick's young children, we come here to make a plea for justice. Because Attorney Johnson, Johnson, when we witness with our own eyes, not something Ben Crump said, not something Al Sharpton said, but what we witness with our own eyes, an unnamed police officer escalated a simple misdemeanor traffic stop into a deadly execution where they shot this young brother in the back of the head. And it was confirmed by Dr. Spitz. Scientific proof that he was shot in the back of the head. So Bishop Gadda, this is not just an issue that affects Grand Rapids. This is not just an issue that affects the state of Michigan. 
This is not an issue that just affects the United States of America. This is is not just an issue that affects the Congo. This is not just an issue that affects Africa. But this is an issue that affects all humanity. Because Patrick was a human being. And Patrick life mattered. His black life mattered. His African life mattered. His human life mattered. See, you must understand that this is not just a legal issue. This is not just a civil rights issue. But truly, Peter, this is a human rights issue. Because world leaders can't condemn Russian soldiers shooting unarmed citizens in the back of the head in the Ukraine but then Kisha refused to condemn police officers police shooting unarmed black citizens Mutoto, here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. If it's wrong that you do it in the Ukraine, then it's wrong that you do it in Grand Rapids. Right, Reverend And so, we ask you to stand with us. I, I thank so much the leaders of this city, Mayor Bliss, and manager, manager Washington, Washington, for paying their respects to Patrick Loyola. Because you acknowledge his life matters. And we thank you for that. And we understand that this is a tri crisis situation. And a crisis can mean danger or it can mean opportunity. We just have to be willing to have the courage to do the right thing. So Gwen Carr, uh, Stefante Clark, I, Clark, Stephane Clark, I know Medina Abdullah from Los Angeles Black Lives Matter Medina is here with us. Los Angeles, I conclude this plea of justice. Remember my mentor, Reverend Al Sharpton, who would, who Attorney McCoy was mentored by Martin Luther King. And Attorney Hatchet, it was Martin Luther King who said, the coward will ask the question, is it safe? He said expediency will ask the question, is it politically correct? He said, oh, vanity will come along and ask the question, is it popular? But then he said, conscience will come and ask the question, Dorcas, he will ask, is it right? And Dr. King concluded Now, Dr. Akasema, that there comes a time when one must take a position regardless if it's popular or politically correct not even if it's safe but Dr. King said one must take a position because their conscience tells them it is the right thing to do 
I submit to you on April 22nd at the homegrown services for Patrick Leola that it is the right thing to do to speak up for our children to stand up for our children to fight for our children because if we don't fight for our children we can't expect nobody else to fight for our children we have to fight to get justice for Patrick will you stand for justice for Patrick will you speak up for justice for Patrick Will you stand up for right? Will you stand up for justice? Will you stand up for Patrick's family? For his parents? Will you stand up for his brothers and sisters? Will you stand up for Patrick's children? We have to stand up united for justice because Patrick Leola Patrick Leola Life matters. And we were screaming from the mountaintops. In the court of law. In the court of public opinion. Justice for Patrick. Patrick. Justice for Patrick. Justice for Patrick. Justice for Patrick. Justice for Patrick. Uh, at this time we want to be respectful to our brothers and sisters from the Congolese community we would ask that the leaders and the preachers who are going to lead this 20 minute session to come and join Reverend Al Sharpton and Bishop McMurray and giving us spiritual leadership that binds us that binds us from Africa to America. So, we turn it over to the Congolese community. Okay. Congolese, Pastor Kizombo. Bishop McMurray, to Bishop McMurray, to the Reverend L. Sharpton, to Reverend L. Sharpton, Mchungaji L. Sharpton, to all the pastors and the dignitaries who are here with us today. We say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aksanti. Thank you. Aksanti. My name is Kizombo Kalumbula. Jina yangu naitwa Kizombo Kalumbula. I'm a pastor here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Niko mchungaji hapa Grand Rapids, Michigan. And my role is to introduce our brothers who are going to bring the sound and the voice from the Democratic Republic of Congo Na. to participate with us in the celebration of life and the fight that is ahead of us. Na mie kazi yangu ni kuja kuambia kuingiza hawa wadudu wetu wenye uko na participate hapa na kuimba na kusema na vita yenye uko so I would like to call uh, Muse Ngandu Amisi. First thing I'm going to call, Daina Kuita Mchungaji Ngandu Amisi. If you would come and just share a few words you have with the community. And to stay with time immediately after Muzengandu finishes. If Muze Mungumu Lome can come as well. As soon as it's finished, you can come. 
and then we'll have a youth choir will bring a song that they wrote on behalf of their friend and then their time will conclude with our adult choir with a sound of Congo to conclude our time together na wakati itakuwa nyimbo kutoka Congo Thank you, thank you very much. Aksanti, aksanti sana. Especially for all these supporters about our brother, son, nephew, father, Patrick Lioya. Kwa wale wa support wote wanatuonesha hapa juu ya ndugu yetu Patrick Lioya mwenye iko baba iko mtoto na iko neve wetu asante sana juu ya Patrick Lioya mnakuja kutusutenia jambo kwa wote good morning everybody good evening everybody or good bon, afternoon bonjour à tous good morning Gre greeting to everyone na wasalimu nyinyi wote we get a, the word get a here to, to, to more the horrific and untimely death of our son, brother, nephew, cousin, husband, and father. A key food to Rakuja Pakukia Sisiwote, Juakuli and Dugietu. Mwenye alikuwa baba, alikuwa ndugu, alikuwa mtoto, alikuwa mzuri wote kwa sisi wote. As a community, Kama community we mourn tunalia the uh, realized potential of life taken too soon. Na tunangalia kama hiyo maisha yenye ilikuwa ya muhimu sana bana tukokota hiyo sana. In this difficult time, na wakati yenye tunapitia shida, we find solace in God. Using this tragic to make the Congolese community visible and display our value to the world. Na tunangalie wakati tulisema kama Mungu anatumikisha hii juu watu wa juu wa Congolese na kwa kutuona wasikie sauti yetu na waone valere yetu mdunia. We celebrate the life of Patrick Lioya. Tuna celebrate maisha ya Patrick Lioya. He represents all Africans and especially all the Congolese immigrants here in the United States. We led a quiet life of impact at this place we call home. As you can see, out there in the audience, we are so many. To the Lioya family, know that you are not alone. We stand with you as we seek justice for Patrick. Justice for Patrick. Justice for Patrick. Justice for Patrick. We will be remiss if we did not acknowledge the many aliens we have joined us with us during this painful season. Na tutakuwa tunawakosea sana kama atuangkumbuke watu wote wenye walitu the Bishop McMurrin, Bishop Mchungaj McMurrin, the Commissioner Walmart. Now, Commissioner Walmart. I used to call him my man. Mina joke umweita dongo yangu. Our hope, 
Attorney Ben Crump. To my name, to Ben Crump. Avocat way to Ben Crump. The highest level. Natunenda Yuru. The Reverend L. Shapton. Natunangalia Mutungaji L. Shapton. The African diaspora and the many activists from Grand Rapids, Michigan, give them a hand. And around the world, thank you for standing with us and the Lioya family as we endure our son, Dev. We invite to continue to stand with us until the end. As Dr. Martin Luther King said once, evil may not shape events that seizure will occupy a palace and cross a cross. We know Patrick Dev is not in vain. He's not in vain. Polesana, Baba Peter, Condolence Papa Peter, na Mama Dorcas, Mama Dorcas, Na watoto wote. And all of the children, the family. Mungu awabariki na awe na nyinyi. Let God bless you and be with you. Thank you. Absante. Good afternoon, everyone. I stand here on behalf of the Bafulero community. Let me tell you that in Congo, we have more than 400 tribes. More than 400. And one of those tribes is called the Bafuliru tribe, which Patrick is from. And I stand up here as a president and a national representative of the Bafuliru tribe in America. Also, I stand up here as a member of the Lioya family to say thank you for all of you. We have no word to express our gratitude for your support, for being with the family for being with the community. So on behalf of the Bafuliru community in America and on behalf of the Lioya family, we know that justice does not care someone's color. Justice does not care someone's origin. Justice does not care someone's religion. Justice does not care someone's belief. And if that's the case, then we believe that True justice, justice kweli, will be done for Patrick. Juya Patrick. Amen. And let me tell you this Na mina hii, that Patrick's blood damu ya Patrick, will cry, italalamika. will keep crying italalamika. until mupaka. true justice mupaka justice is done for him. Justice kweli nafanyikana. 
We ask you to keep supporting us. We still need your support. In this tragic matter that happened to us. May the Almighty God bless you. We have nothing to give you. But remember that when a life is lost, it is your life, it is my life, it is a human being life that is lost. Thank you. My name is Bethlehem Kongwa Shekanena. Jina yangu naitwa Bethlehem Kongwa Shekanena. And I have come to say that in the, kusema, in the United States of America, hapa itazini America, the words life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness are not only promised to those who live here, but to all those who come here as well. Na kwa maisha kwa wale watu wenye abaishi tu hapa na baadaye baba nakuja hapa. These words of hope have been the driving force that encourage many to leave all that they know. People that they know. A country that they know. In order to receive America's promise. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness was a bond given to Mama na Papa Lioya. Like many from Congo's Bafalidu tribe, including my own family, Mama na Papa Lioya came to this country with an assurance in this promise with the assurance that they and their children would not be presented with turmoil and death but with life they came with the assurance that they and their children would not be presented with bondage and pain but with liberty and they came with the assurance that they and their children would not be pre presented with fear and sorrow but with happiness. They came to America with hope and assurance in this country's promise. But life, liberty, and the ability to pursue happiness is not what was given. We are gathered here today because the promise given to all those who reside on this land, the very foundation of what makes America America, it was broken the moment Patrick Lioya was killed in the street. He was a brother. He was a son. He was a friend. He was a hard-working American. And he was a proud Congolese man who cared for his family, who cared for those around him, and who cared for everyone that he came in contact with. But most importantly, he was a human being. He did not deserve to die wrongfully murdered in the street. Patrick, Patrick, Manowetu, you should be here with us today. You had so much to offer the world and we failed you. Specifically, it failed you. And I am so sorry that it failed you. You left us early, Patrick. And we were not able to say goodbye. That it's not your fault. But you are still gone nonetheless. 
please know that we will forever love and we will forever miss you that we will be strong for you that we will fight for you please rest easy rest in peace Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jonathan, and this is my brother, Amani. Uh, we made a song for my brother, Patrick. Patrick was more than brother to me. I remember uh, the Saturday before he passed away, we were at my friend's uh, friend birthday, my birthday party. And he saw me from far. He came, and he hugged me very tight. And uh, he, t he was so excited. He told me, Jonathan, I just got a new place. You should come to my house. We should have a dinner. Uh, we should have a dinner. And I was like, okay, all right, good. When we leave here, send me the address and I'll come and see you. And then from there, we left. Monday morning, I heard I passed away. I'm really... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really broken, so I made, I made a song for him. I made a song for him. Pa 
Patrick Yoya, we love you. Lezu, Lezu, Lezu. Come on, Lezu. Patrick. 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 Ah, yes. Dans mon pays, quand tu as un enfant, in our, in our country, when you have a son, tu es en train d'investir dans les enfants. You, you invest in the children. Parce que c'est ça aussi ça, ta retraite. Because that is how you can get also you can uh, you can retreat. Parce que quand tu seras vieux, c'est l'enfant qui va te supporter. Because when you will become older, it's your son that is going to take care of you. Patrick, tu es parti. Patrick, you are gone. Qu'est-ce que je veux faire, moi, ton père? What am I going to do? Me, your father. Qui va m'enterrer? Qui me prendra en charge? Who else is going to take me in charge? Qui va me supporter quand je serai vieux? Who is going to support me when I will be old? I will become old. Alleluia. Nanga, na bele ma, na bele ma na yo, na bele ma na yo, na bele ma na yo, na bele na. Que Dieu qui peut tout. It's only God who can do everything. Hallelujah. Who's able to do everything. Kitsiona. Hallelujah.
You just heard from the Congolese community, and what they're saying, Tuambwama means that be lifted, be glorified, because you are the only one who deserve the praise, you deserve the worship, and you deserve the glory. That's what they mean. Thank you. Come on, let's give them another great God bless you. My brothers and sisters, from everywhere, the spark that united this, this movement, the catalyst that has us all together here, let us stand and receive Commissioner Robert S. Womack. Justice for Patrick. 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 Thank you very much. Aksanti Sana. I'd like to acknowledge President Cliff Jackson of the NAACP. Natafta Kusema Aksanti Kwa President Cliff Jackson. Eric Brown, President of the Urban League. Eric Brown, President of the Urban League. I'd like to have all our elected officials stand up. Now, what to what to our most way to our to Shimani. Now, when I put a leo up, I could support a leo. I want to go to way to my immigration attorney, Hillary Scalden. Please, I'm gonna say my avocat one way migration, Hillary Shimama, and all our clergy. Now, our pastor, what to miss you among the water, what to miss among the water. Bishop McMurray, not only. For Bishop opening McMurray, up his church. Bishop McMurray akufungula tu ikanisa. But all the work he's been doing the last 14 days. Na kazi yote nyo kwa nafanya kupita. To make sure this young man. Fanya yote yu jamaa kitana. Who is worthy. Umwenye maisha ki likuwa na mama. Of a celebration of life. Wangi muselebre maisha ki yote. Has some place to have his celebration of life. Na kweba na muselebre maisha ya ki. I would like the family to stand up. Did the family please stand up? Because this is what it's all about. This family. And I want 30 seconds. Applause. for this family. Let's go. Pige mi kono, 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 pige mi kono. I want the family can sit. 
I just wanted you to know how much we love you and support you. Let's give it up one more time for Ben Crump and Al Sharpton. Ben Crump and Al Sharpton. They made sure that the world would know about this tragedy in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And as Reverend Sharpton said, and as Ben Crump said, this is bigger than Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids. This is how over-policing in African-American communities in the United States of America has led to death from sea to shiny sea. In Grand Rapids, we have to play our part now. We can't have our leadership just come out because Al Sharpton's in the house. We can't have our leadership come out just because Ben Crump's in the house. We need him on the front line like our protesters have been on the front line every day. Every day. This didn't happen just overnight. We saw it coming for years. People went to City Hall and they said it's coming. We just didn't know what family was going to take that blow. The Lioya family has had to pay the price for the lack of proactiveness in the city of Grand Rapids when it comes to GRPD and the black community. As I close, I would like to thank every single person in this room for being here today. As I look around this room and all the people that came to celebrate the life of Patrick, Leoya and his family. I understand that it was God's plan to bring this multitude of leadership, activists, protesters, and neighbors together at this time to support Patrick Leoya and his family. This is God's plan. For with God, all things are possible. And if he gave his only begotten son to die for us, if he made that sacrifice, he will continue to do things to show us life is bigger than money. Life is bigger than car rims. Life, Life is bigger than gold ropes. God brought us all together to join in this calamity, to join in this fight, to help save humanity from humanity. The life of Patrick Leoya has been today with blacks and whites and people of all races ethnic backgrounds who believe in righteousness and peace to all the true believers who are here today as you leave do not say that you went to a funeral today say that you went to a celebration of life for Patrick Lioya do not say that you went to a funeral today say that you went to a place to love and support the Lioya family do not say that you went to a funeral today say I went to a house Today can be a new milestone. For justice and peace. And change. 
Today can be an opportunity to show the entire world that the city of Grand Rapids believes in equal justice. We have an opportunity to show the entire world that Grand Rapids finally knows that all lives do not matter. That black lives matter too. Black lives Black lives. Maisha, but Grand Rapids has an opportunity to show Grand Rapide, that it finally to understands na kama na leo, that all lives do not matter kama maisha yote and muimu. they only matter Inakuwa tu ya muimu. when Patrick Leo, your life matters too. Wakati Patrick and I, maisha kenya muimu. Black lives. Hey. Black lives. Hey. No justice. No, no justice. No and since I am a follower of Dr. Martin Luther King and his non-violent movement that continues through us who are the seeds of the civil rights movement. When I say no peace, I mean no peace of mind. They have not had a peace of mind since Ben Crump landed in Grand Rapids. They certainly didn't have a peace of mind today when Mr. Reverend Al Sharpton landed in Grand Rapids. Don't get tired. Don't think this is over. This is just the beginning. All of you have been living in Grand Rapids as long as I have been here. Know that this is not over. They are disrespecting Patrick Leoya in social media. We won't let them disrespect him in the court of law. Justice for Patrick. Justice for Patrick. I want to thank Al Sharpton and Ben Crump, Crump once again for answering I mean, my call to, accent. to help the Leoya family in this solemn time of need. Kwa El Sharpton na na Ben Crump kujibia simu yangu kuya kusaidia jama. To Peter and the Rockies Leoya na kusema Patrick. Eh, pa, Peter na Jamaya Kiyote. We are all here today. Tuko leo apa sisi wote. For only one reason. Kukutia sababu tu much. To support you. Kukwa wa supporte. Let you know we love you. Kuambia kama tu na wapenda. To honor. Na kuwa onore. To salute. Na kuwa salimia. And celebrate. Na ku celebrate. The life. Maisha. Of your son. Ya ya mtoto enu. The dance instructor. Wakati alikufa. The leader of your family, the next in line. We are here to honor and celebrate. 26 year old. Patrick Leoya. Patrick Leoya. Accent. Thank you. Before Bishop and Reverend Toon dismiss us, Mbele Bishop, uh, kwenda, I want us to give honor to Israel Seku. He has stood with Peter and he stood with his family and he's been a real friend and brother and I've preached all over the world but I never preached with an interpreter that could preach with me. <laughs> Reverend Toon. <laughs> Come on, let's be rested upon our feet so we can be dismissed. Come on, everybody on their feet. <laughs> Certainly, we thank God for what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard today. Now, tunasema kwa mungu kwa yoyi macho yetu liona na masikio tunasikia. 
Father God, we come saying thank you again for just another day's journey. Baba, Mungu, tena thank you, God, for leo. this family. Aksanti, Mungu, kwa Strengthen kama them leo. now, God. As they go through this turmoil, bless this community and give them strength to continue this fight for justice for Patrick. Now, God, as we leave this place, but never from your presence, give us God and mercy. Keep us in your will and in your way. It's in Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Those who believe, say amen. Come on, say amen again. Say amen again. Amen. Say amen again. Amen. No justice, no peace. I'm going to ask everyone, please, as our guest, eulogist, and attorney Crump, and all the folks that have gathered together here today, y'all got to keep this center aisle clear. Keep the center aisle clear as we exit out. Can you please keep the center aisle? Our morticians are coming at this time. Keep the center aisle clear. Clear a passage in the narthex. Let's move quickly. Parish, y'all wait just one moment. You all maintain your seats, please. We call it Jemima. Mwikale kwanja, mwikale, mwikale kwanja, mwikale, mwikale. Please maintain your seats. Mwikale kwanja. We will reconvene at Resurrection Fellowship Cemetery in Wyoming. And at this time, family, would you be seated? Family, family, would you wait? Would you all grab the family? Just one moment. Tell the family to return back to their seats, please. The family return back to your seats. Jamaa murudie kwanja mwikale kukiti. Tunendelesha kututenda kumazishi ku resurrection. Reverend Sharpton would like to give one final expression of love. Na Reverend atafuta tena kuwasalimia ya mwisho. El Sharpton. Let's appreciate Reverend Sharpton. Acha tumu appreciate Reverend. Mungu pige mikono, 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 mikono. Mikono, mikono, mikono. Can you say with me, God bless? Museme nyi wote Mungu abariki. Reverend Al Sharpton. Mungu abariki mchungaji Al Sharpton. Our psalmist will send us home in a spirit of celebration. Sir. For the scriptures say the joy of the Lord is our strength. Uh, I have an announcement. Can you turn the music down a little bit, please? Niko na utangazo. They say that uh, everyone don't move when you get in the car, don't drive yet until when they give you the instruction. When you get in the car, don't drive yet. Wanasema musitembeze kwanja wakati unengia mugari kwa sababu tutafata korbiar. Don't drive yet, just don't leave this place yet. Wait until when the people from the funeral home give us the instruction because we will be behind them. We will follow them. Nyu wate wenye muku hapa musitembeze kwanja tuikale. Mupaka sabata tupatia instruksio kutoka kwa ubuana tutafata korbiar. Aksanti.